In Morocco today, nearly 200 countries reaffirmed their support for the global climate agreement reached in Paris last year. Many are worried President-elect Trump will pull out of the deal. Further south in Africa, climate change is taking a toll on endangered mountain, endangered mountain gorillas. Mark Phillips has more in his ongoing series, The Climate Diaries. There's a population up there on the slopes of these volcanic peaks in Central Africa that knows nothing of arguments in Washington about climate change. But the famous gorillas in the mist do know something is going on. They know the bamboo shoots that make up a major part of their diet and which used to sprout like clockwork are now less predictable. The rains that produced them were a month late this year. The gorillas have had to adapt their roaming and foraging patterns because the old seasonal rhythms of food production have altered. Their world is changing. These guys are the 800-pound gorillas in the room, except, of course, they really weigh in at about 400 pounds. And they're not in control of events. They're the potential victims of them. The gorillas' problems are made worse by the troubles of their distant cousins and close neighbors, people. Because the late rains have also made the water supply down in the valleys less reliable, local villagers have been going up into gorilla country, where they're not supposed to go, to bring that good mountain water home. And park ranger Abu Musana says water isn't the only thing the people are after. When there is that kind of change in when it's drought, yes, uh, the when there's harvest, a drought, yes, yeah, drought, the harvest will be impacted, yes, and the people are coming to invade the habitat, which is for gorillas. So when the people are low on food, mm -hmm. they come into the they park come, looking for food. And, yeah. The human population has ballooned in the area surrounding the park, and when these people are forced up the mountains, David Greer of the World Wildlife Fund's Great Apes program says they bring disease and other dangers with them. They have to enter the park to get to access this clean water, and in the meantime, they might want to set a snare for catching an ungulate for food. It's an antelope or something. Exactly. Yeah, right, yeah. That, that some poor ape steps into. Exactly. That's what happened to this gorilla filmed by a 60 Minutes team a few months ago. The snare was removed by one of the vets whose work has actually helped the ape population increase lately. Still, there are only about 880 mountain gorillas left in the world, all here, confined to these mountain tops. They're already considered critically endangered, and as their world changes, they have nowhere to go. Mark Phillips, CBS News in Volcano National Park, Rwanda.